Hi, this is Tim with Setlist Helper. I'm going to explain the tags feature that was added in 3.50. Um, 3.53, I think it's come full circle with some of the features that I put in, so I'm going to demonstrate those. Um, it's really easy to use tags. So you can think of tags similar to a folder, except that a song can have one or more tags. Um, so I can have a tag, let's say, in New Fossils, or a song in New Fossils, and a song in originals and let me demonstrate that okay so I have this song 365 days in the tags now if I go back to originals I'm gonna add 365 days and I'm gonna use the good old from catalog this is picking from the master catalog so I'm gonna select that so this just demonstrates that you can have 365 days in many tags. Um, I have it in both New Fossils and Originals. So let me go back a little bit. So New Fossils is my band name. Um, so if you're in multiple band names, you can have a tag for each band that you're in, and you can filter by those tags, which I'll show in a second. And of course, there's Original. Um, you can have any number of tags, you know, Worship, Acoustic, what it, horn songs, whatever it may be. Real easy to add a tag. Um, you just press the add button and it creates a new tag. Since I already have a couple tags here, let me demonstrate how you add songs to a tag. So I just kind of showed that with the from catalog, but there's three options similar to adding to a set list, um, but this is a little bit different. So you can add a new song, which is a brand new song that's going to get added to your catalog. Um, you can add from catalog, which will allow you to choose any of your songs that are in your song catalog. This is your master song catalog. Now notice that any of these songs, I have these five songs in here. Let's just choose 365 days. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll add a new song. 360... Oh. I didn't want to do that. I want to do it from catalog. So 365 days is not in this list. It should be at the top. So let me demonstrate that again. I'll add Barton Hollow to the song catalog or into this tag, New Fossils. So you can see Barton Hollow in the list. If I do from catalog again, sorted by alphabetical order here, and you can see that it's not in your list. I do not provide an option to show all because this is a similar view of from catalog as you're used to with um, adding songs to your set list. Now, let me go show you probably the most useful feature. Um, you can filter by tags in your song catalog. So all I need to do is go up to here, filter by tags in the menu. I hit the three dot menu item there, filter by tags, and I can choose either one of these or both. So I'm just going to choose the one for now, choose new fossils. You can see I have six songs. I'll do it again. I'm going to do filter by tag, and I'm going to choose originals, and now I have 10 songs. So it shows you all 10 of those songs. Now there is a little bug. You can see the alphabetical list. It should only have the, the, the letters or numbers that are in the list. So 3, A, B, G, I, M, and S. But it has a whole list here. Um, and the only way to fix that at this point, I need to fix that bug, um, is to go out and come back into the list. So there's also the option to clear the filters. Um, this will clear both the filters if you filter um, by the title, um, do the other type of filter, or if you do the filter by tags. So you can clear the tags filter by unchecking the tags or by saying clear filters. And that will show you all the songs in your song catalog. So now I'm going to demonstrate adding songs to a set list with... Um, filter by tags so if I'm in my songs which I am now I'm just gonna show the new fossil song so if this was the band that I was using so it's filtered by six songs so let's go into a set list so let me choose the good old sample set list and I'm gonna add from catalog and you'll notice 
that this is already filtered for you by the tags. The filter is shared from this view and the song catalog view or the songs view. If you wanted to clear those out or choose diff different filter, you could just um, do the same thing that I just showed you in the song catalog. So now I'm filtering by two filters. And you can just add the songs and they'll get added to the end of your set list. Um, this is kind of out of scope for this this piece, but let me show you how you can add a song in the middle of your set list. You just do, you tap the circle with the down arrow next to the song you want to add to. You choose from catalog. And I'm going to choose a couple of these songs. You'll notice that 365 days is added twice because I have that in both my tags. That's just the nature of this feature. So if you have a song in multiple tags, you'll get the song here twice. So now you can see that the songs that I added were just were added below Oh I Ain't Got the Blues, Barton Hollow and Good For You. So in deleting tags is really simple as well. You can delete from the originals. If you want to delete the, the tag itself, and this will just remove the tag and all the songs in it. It won't actually remove the songs from your song catalog. So just choose remove. Or you can drill down into the tag and you can remove an individual song from a tag. And again, that won't remove from your song catalog. Now, if you wanted to change the name of your tag, all you got to do is circle with the down arrow and choose edit and just change the name save and it's changed so that's the general overview of the tags feature if you have some good ideas for this or if you have any questions feel free to email me at support at setlisthelper.com my again my name is tim